up. What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode. So it's opening day of grouper season. It's a little late in the day, it's about one o'clock. We're still gonna try to get out there and we're gonna do nothing but dive and spearfish and see if we can get some groupers for dinner. All right guys, stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so I'm actually going to talk you through this dive a little bit so I can tell you some of the stuff I'm doing and why I did what I did. Um, when we initially went out, this water looked beautiful. I thought we were going to have great visibility, but as you guys can see, we are sadly mistaken. Uh, my brother actually dropped me a little south of the, the wreck we were trying to hit, um, and I came across this autofisher reef. Now inside this auto fisher wreath was a big glide grouper. This grouper was every bit of 150, about 150 pounds to 200 pounds. It's definitely not missing a meal, um, but he was definitely stuck in this auto fisher reef. Um, I played with him for about five minutes trying to get him to go up or kind of go towards the top of the auto fisher reef where it was most big so he can get out. And he was definitely stuck. He was unable to get out of this auto fisher reef. So I'm taking you guys to the front of this barge. I know the visibility is very terrible. It's only a 10, 15 foot visibility. It's, it's pretty bad. But in the front of this barge, last time I dove it, there was tons of Goliath groupers. But I did have a flashlight, so I couldn't see well inside. But I can prepare today. I'm here looking for a gag grouper, any kind of grouper right now. So while we're looking in this, in this barge, there's tons of reef fish, snapper running around. There were a few groupers running around, but they were on the smaller side, so I didn't want to take the shot. Um, I'll try to point them out as we see them. So here comes this giant goliath grouper and he's only got one thing on his mind he's here to protect his territory and what he's trying to do right now is intimidate me show me how big he is he shows me his size um, you'll see here in a minute he actually turns himself sideways so kind of like kind of like hey back up this is my spot everything here is mine um, i kind of growl at him a little bit and um, send him on his way let him know I'm not here for him, I'm just here to look for some of his buddies. But unfortunately, there's tons of snook, there's tons of snapper running around. I don't see any keeper groupers willing to shoot, so I keep it moving. So we make our way up to the top of the barge, and I actually find a, it appears to be an AB Biller spear gun shaft. 
And it's from a pretty big gun from what it appears because it's, uh, it's actually almost bigger than my spear gun. So that's going to be 50 inches plus a bubiller, which is probably about as big as they get. Um, so I hang on to that just in case. You never know what, you, uh, what a kind of treasure you're going to find while we're out here diving. But it, it does make me feel good that I'm not the only one diving this wreck. Because again, I had such high hopes for inside that barge, four groupers, that maybe I'm just a little late to the game on this barge. So I'm also looking for any kind of cracks or holes that a grouper can fit or squeeze into as I'm cruising the other side of the barge. Um, I call this, this portion right here the skeleton um, because the front is enclosed and the back has an enclosed portion and this is just kind of all the rib bones um, from in the middle. So while I'm looking for holes and stuff like that I actually come across more treasure. I find a decent sized anchor, so I decide that, hey, I'm going to come back to this, I'm going to put the shaft here, and the anchor can stay here, and I'll come back at the end of my dive to bring this stuff up. So right here where I'm taking you, last time I dove it, there was monster mangrove snappers all hanging out in this first bay. And I actually brought the pole spear down with me this time. I've never used a pole spear. This is my first time ever using a pole spear. So guys, please don't laugh at me when I'm using it. But this monster mangrove snapper comes out and I take the shot, a nice easy shot, pretty high up to, to his gills. So I know he's on there, he's not coming off. So I make my way up to the top and I'm going to go ahead and put them on the fish hook and keep looking for more fish. So I head back down to the same first bay area trying to pick up a few more mangrove snappers but I can't get a shot on any of them with this pole spear they're all kind of keeping their distance they just seen their buddy go up get caught so we're gonna keep it moving to the next few bays over These are, this is only a few bays over. This is a pile of monster snook stacked up. Now these snook are every bit of 35 to 40 plus inches. Um, these are not your typical inshore snook that sh you know shy away or anything. They were not scared of me at all. Um, and all these snook had some girth to them. So I line up for this sheep head with the pole spear. And when I say this sheephead seen his pole spear coming a mile away, he, he looked at me and laughed at me as he did his little circle. But better news is because I, I was playing with that sheephead, I was looking in that direction. And if you guys look on the sand all the way out in the, as far as you can see, a big gag grouper comes in. He's every bit of 15, 17 pounds. Um, so I swift, quickly switch to the gun, but the problem is I only have two bands loaded. I have to load the third band and swim in close distance to try to catch him. And he never gives me a clean shot. I never, I'm, ever, I'm, I'm not able to close that distance in time either to safely shoot him and get it all my shaft all the way through him to actually hold him. 
so I never take the shot, unfortunately. Or oh, that would've been a good catch clean and cook right there. So there's tons of mangrove snapper in this little structure area, um, but they're on their average size. And again, I left the pool spear on the barge, so they all live to fight another day. Um, so I head back to the barge um, to go to the enclosed area on the back half of the barge, and hopefully I can find me a grouper that I can shoot. Here's another monster glide grouper. This grouper is every bit of four, 500 pounds. He's not scared of me at all. The problem we're having now is we're both going to the same place. So he swims into the enclosed portion of the barge and at, I'm not sure if he had an escape hatch to, to leave out of. So now I'm swimming up to the open portion. I can't really see him with caution because I'm trying to give him room to escape if he wants to leave. I don't want to corner this fish in this small barge enclosed area. But if you look here in a second, he swims up the side and we never meet face to face, thank God. So once I actually make it inside the enclosed portion of the back half of this uh, barge, the inside of this barge comes to life. There's everything under here. There's a big drum, there's some snook, there's snapper, there's even a few groupers running around, but they're definitely on the smaller juvenile side. Um, but everything just comes to life in here. It's truly amazing how all these fish just cohabit in the same environment, day in and day out. So I don't know if you guys remember this spot earlier, but initially I was chasing that gag grouper past here. And this entire portion right here was full of mangrove snapper. But I'm assuming since this big glide grouper's hanging around, everything is either hiding or went to another spot. Um, I actually made one other shot in here before. Um, I actually got my, my shaft all tangled up in here. So I'm not going to shoot anything unless it's worth my while because I don't want to get my shaft all hung up because it's about time for me to surface the top. So I make one more pass through this area where I last seen the gag grouper run through. Hopefully maybe he can start working his way back. But unfortunately, he never come back. Um, but I did see this whole school of snook and a pretty nice sized glide trooper just hanging out in the current, waiting for bait to come by. Uh, That's pretty nice. I wish the visibility was a little better for you guys, but.
Alrighty guys, well we are unable to get the group request completed today, but season's open so hopefully we can come across some nice size on those barges and um, we'll get it done next time. Alright guys, so if you like the voiceover, uh, go ahead and leave a comment saying you guys like the voiceover. I'll do some more voiceovers if you guys really like them. And like always guys, like, subscribe, continue to share our videos, help us grow. Thank you very much for all the support. Until next time, we gone.